It does get a bit blurry in the cutscenes sometimes, I've noticed. Am I too late? He's alive. He's alive. That's what I said. The arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it. C4. Wow. Nicely dodged. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. One of my favorite characters ever. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt's single action army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. I love that quote. For some reason, I always say it. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! And so begins the first boss fight of the game. Not a very difficult one. You basically got to, uh,. Shoot him and avoid his bullets. And you'll see his ammo uh, at the top screen there. He's got five bullets left out of six. And when he's used them all up, he'll have to reload, which is usually the best point to uh, shoot him. I'm getting a bit slow down here, which is annoying. Oh. You just gotta chase him round while avoiding crossing that yellow line because you will risk setting off the C4, which is a really bad thing to do. Because uh, poor Baker will go boom! Along with us, actually, so. Oh, there he goes. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well. That is a very, very just you could take that in such a right. wrong way. Let's go. Let's go. Now oh, Revolver Ocelot. Such a great villain. And I remember it gave me such a fascination with uh, you know, revolvers and the way he twirls his guns. I used to like I used to have several toy guns and I used to spin them around my fingers trying to be like him. Good times. And I do apologize for the slowdown. At least the audio doesn't seem to be slowing down too much. It's just because I am running this at a higher resolution than I should be doing, really. There we go. Is that, like, over half his health gone? He's not too difficult. It can be just hard to chase him sometimes. Now, during boss fights, you can call your comrades for uh, little hints on how to beat him. Do -do -do. If you got a question about Foxhound, ask Dr. Naomi. Revolver Ocelot is a former member of Spechnads. After the fall of the Soviet Union, he apparently served in the Russian tax police's elite SWAT team. After that, he joined the SVR, the Russian Foreign Intelligence Agency, which was formerly a part of the KGB. But according to my sources, he was dissatisfied with the rigid system of the KGB and wanted to get out. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He's a gun fanatic and totally obsessed with cowboy movies and spaghetti westerns. He's also something of a sadist. Ah. He learned the most advanced torture techniques while he was with Spetsnaz. Yeah, he had plenty of practice. Lubyanka Prison is located right there inside KGB headquarters. In a gunfight, reloading is usually the most dangerous time. But he loves it. Use that to your advantage. You'll have to take him out when he's reloading. Can you see where his number of remains? Yeah, yeah, I get it, Colonel. I get it. Wait for the right moment. Okay. But yeah, the way uh, Naomi said, uh, Spetsnaz. <laughs> That's just like, why say it like Sean Connery? Weird. Um, we can call Nastasha. She's probably going to tell us about his weapon. Oh, didn't mean to. No, oh, I didn't want to call him again. Make sure President Baker doesn't get Yes, hurt. yes, yes. I know if, it's, if he's killed, it's all over. Over 130 See, years you ago. learn things all the time. They're still being made in small numbers, but uh, that's just for collectors and such. Nobody uses them in combat anymore. Apparently, somebody, the somebody does. To revolver style handguns is reload time. That's your chance. There you go. So basically, just kill him when he's reloaded. Oh, he's just Don't stood there looking. There you go. He's gonna go down. 
Do 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 This music. Oh, just I think it's called Encounter. And it's just so it it's gotta be one of my favourite uh, Metal Gear Solid songs. Apart from the main theme and a couple of others. Do 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 Alright, he's reloading. Shoot him, Snake. There you go. And he's gonna run and run and run. Can we get him again? No, we missed him. We only got five bullets left. Which is uh, more than enough to kill anything that moves. We missed him there. And I don't see any new ammo popping up all over. Oh no, I do. Oh, we're gonna have to be careful. Yeah. Ah, we got hit there. You bastard. I'm trying to pick up some ammo, goddammit. Ah. He's reloading again, though. There you go, take that, you bastard. Shooting me when I'm trying to be all careful and picking up the ammo. It's a bit like uh, Ring Around the Rosie, isn't it? I'm not trying to hide, but did you see that then? He sort of ricochets his bullets, which is what he's pretty well known for. Oh, we missed him. Five bullets. I'm sucking at this now. Wait a minute. No! Time waits for no man. I have officially run out of ammo. That is not good. Oh, but oh, it respawns. Fantastic. I bloody needed that. Oh, as if that was such a bad time to reload. <laughs> Just like him, I suppose. But I don't really enjoy it as much as he does. There you go. We got him eventually. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! Now that would really hurt, wouldn't it? Whoa. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again! Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That... that exoskeleton... You know, as if things couldn't get any weirder, really. We got a guy with psychic powers and a freaking cyborg ninja. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. That's not good. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Sounds Surgical painful. implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. He definitely In said that. Case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. No, no, that's not what you promised, Jim. Who's I Jim? Want to shut me up. Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. 
Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. Yep. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. What? Damn. He forgot. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact CD her. CD case? I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. Hmm. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. <laughs> muff? It stands for material unaccounted. Oh, sorry. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. Muff. <laughs> in other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. Here it comes. You mean Metal Gear. Metal yes. Gear. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. That's the kind of stuff I just did not understand when I was little playing this for the first time. Or watching it being played for the Rhymes. first time. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. 
The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Yes. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Really? Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Oh, oh not again. What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... You've got to be kidding me. What was he on about, anyway? They actually went and did it? Did what? What the hell? Yeah, that's exactly my thoughts, Snake. Don't expect your uh, superiors to tell you anything, though. Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Bullshit. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work there together. There you go. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. It's not saying much. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, mm. I'm counting on you. Oh, you can't? Oh, I've not heard that before. So many questions, and um, I don't know. I'm starting not to trust these uh, support team members of mine. I think Mei Ling's okay, but uh, Naomi and Colonel? I don't know, they seem to be hiding things. And uh, poor Baker, we knew you... Well, we didn't really know you, but... Oh well, you're in a better place now, mate. Um, well, actually, no, you're probably in hell for, you know, funding this, uh, or trying to make this weapon of mass destruction. So I hope you burn. Anyway, right. That was the first boss fight over and done with. We now need to uh, get into contact with uh, Meryl. And he said something about... The frequency was on the back of the CD case. Now, you know what I used to think? I used to think that it was on about this. Which actually looks like a floppy disk in the in the icon, but... Um, optic disk containing Metal Gear exercise data. And I was like, well, how do you... How do you read this thing? What do you do? But no, it's actually talking brilliantly, geniusly, about the actual video game case. That, you know, the game comes in. And um, it's got a screenshot on the back of Snake talking to Meryl on the codec. And of course, you see the frequency. Now, I'm not actually 100% sure what the frequency is, but we do need to leave this area anyway because of the uh, jamming. So I do need to check that, actually. I can see the case on my shelf, so I'll have a look in a minute. But um, we can actually, now that we have a level 2 card, we can get ourselves a new weapon. We're going to have to avoid all these guards that have just suddenly decided to turn up. I'm sure it's in this room here. Um, we can read the door. It says, FAMAS. Now, 
We're about to pick it up now. Yep, we can pretty much guess there's going to be lasers, infrared lasers in this. So, um, I am going to have to crawl to avoid them. Because if we have our thermals equipped, you can see they're sort of waste level, so we can just crawl under those. And we got ourselves a FAMAS, which is uh, an assault rifle. Machine gun type thing. Uh, kind of useful at later points in the game, but you don't want to be just firing that thing willy-nilly, because it is quite loud, and you do uh, eat up a lot of ammo, so we'll leave that for now, and um, here's my card. I don't think there's any other items we can pick up. We might want to get some more C4. Now, where's this guard coming? Ah, he's just going straight down there. Good. Level 3, we can't go in there. Yeah, I'll just pick up some more C4. I think there's only... Oh, has it not uh, respawned yet? That sucks. Hmm. Anything in here I want to pick? Oh, that's uh trap. Oh, still nothing but apart from that ammo. Right, some more SOCOM ammo. Oh, God. This guard better not see me. I don't think he can. I think I'm just about too far away from him. There he goes, walking on by. And the lift is just to our right as we go out. But there's a few guards around it, I think. So we're going to have to be a bit careful, avoiding the trap doors. Do, do. Right, let's go. Let's make a dash for it. Oh, the elevator came very quick then. Right, um, I'm going to go... I think we need to go to level 1 again. The first floor. Right, okay. So, I am going to uh, just go look at my CD case, and uh, I think I'll just end the video here. So, thanks for watching, and next time we're going to contact Meryl and see, well, what's going on with her. So, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.